हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू गाइस आर एंजॉइंग दिस एजुकेशन इनिशिएटिव सर्वे ज्ञान बाय सर्वे आर इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच आर लास्ट टू वीडियोस देन आई अर्ज यू टू वॉच द सेम एज इट विल सेट द पेस विद दिस करंट वीडियो इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी सॉ हाउ टू इंपोर्ट ऑर्थोमोजाइक इन ऑटोकैड एंड परफॉर्म फ्यू कैलकुलेशंस टुडे इन द सेकंड वीडियो ऑफ दिस सीरीज ड्रोन सर्वे इन ऑटोकैड वी विल बी स्टडीइंग अबाउट कंटूर्स and other terms related to contour what are their characteristics how to view contour properties in autocad and the uses of contour map in the introductory video itself i have generated the contour at an interval of 2 meter you can use G survey and geo workspace to generate the contour at an interval of your choice go to export click on default format select digital elevation model as layer Select contour as format and then define the interval of your choice. I have already downloaded the contour and I'll be using the same. You can find the link of this contour file in the description. We can see that there are various lines in the in this drawing and these are called contour lines to start with a very simple definition we can say that the contours are kind of imaginary lines that are placed at an equal elevation this imaginary line consists of many points which are which are connected to each other and they are at equal elevation they are drawn keeping the difference in elevation of between two consecutive lines and this difference is called as contour interval we generated our contour at an interval of 2 meters and we can justify by looking at the contour line properties first i will be selecting this contour line and we can see that the elevation is at 173 meter and this contour line has an elevation at 171 meter so we can see that the contours are generated at an interval of 2 meters now you guys might be wondering how to select this contour interval so this can be dependent on various factors such as scale of the map that is if the scale is small then the interval would be large other purpose like what contour is being used for that is if the survey work is to be used for very accurate and detailed calculations then of course we need to choose the small interval now we know about the contour contour intervals and the factors to choose the interval we will inspect our contour lines and based on that we will define few characteristics of the contour first of all we should understand that these contour lines would never intersect when zooming also you can see that no two contour lines would intersect each other though they are very close to each other but they would never intersect the only exception here is for overhanging cliffs if there is a presence of overhanging cliffs then of course the contour contour lines will intersect all the points in the contour line would have the same elevation if we monitor one of the contour line and see its coordinates and the elevation then we can verify the same you can see the elevation is at 181 meter at one point similarly again the 
point in the contour would have the same elevation. Before moving further, I would like to import the orthomosaic of the same map for which the contour lines have been generated. So if you have watched our previous video, you must be knowing on how to import the orthomosaic. I will be creating a new layer to import the orthomosaic. Let's name it orthomosaic. Set the transparency value to around 60. Now it will take some time to process the orthomosaic. Our orthomosaic has been imported. Now I will be importing its world file and to do that we need to use GRF IMG command. Okay, so our orthomosaic has been imported properly and we can see the contour lines are well over on it. We will be continuing, continuing with this characteristics of the contour lines. The third point would be a series of closed interval with lower elevation indicates a depression. You can see that uh, there is a pit and if you closely monitor these consecutive contour lines and see their elevation, you will, would be able to think that it's a depression. So the elevation of this contour is 167 meter. If we go below it says it is 165 meter then 163 meter so we can see that the contour lines are at a uniform distance and they are decreasing hence it indicates a depression similarly a series of contour lines with higher elevation indicates a hill so if you closely look at a stockpile and see the properties again of the contour lines you see that the 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 bottom one is at 181 meter then the next one is at 183 meter then the the topmost is at 185 meter so with after observing these three lines we can clearly say that it is a hill now if the lines are equally spaced then it indicates a uniform slope widely spaced contour indicates the flat ground so if you see here this contour would indicate that it is a flat flat ground whereas the closely spaced contour generally indicates a steep ground but it is not necessarily true a series of straight parallel and equally spaced contours represent a plane surface like a building So I think we have covered a few of the most important characteristics of contours that one should know. Now in AutoCAD we can see the properties related to contour. If we right click on any contour and select properties, we can see the properties here. 
it indicates the elevation then if one wants to know the perimeter or, or length of the contour then also it is indicated here and if the if the contour is closed then it also indicates the area this helps in planning finally we have learned so much about contours then we should look at few of the use cases also so contour maps can be used for alignment for roads canals etc we can easily determine the nature of the surface if we know how to read the contour lines contour lines can be used for the calculation of volume of earthwork in cutting and in, and in embankment you will be surprised but even that military troops use contour maps for their operation. These contours are used for obtaining data in the design and construction of structures such as dams. Other than that, there are various uses. Now we have come to the conclusion of this video and I hope you have gathered some knowledge related to contours. Like and share the video if you are enjoying this series and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Let's meet in the next video. Thank you.